Hello, my champions. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. I am Miss Please, and you are joining me on Real Talk. Today, I would just like to check in and see how everyone is doing and just comment on a few things that I've seen, discussed, uh, collaborated on. You know, there's a lot going on with the pandemic. And yes, it's like beating a dead horse. It's, it's the conversation that never ends. And it's the conversation that always starts. You know, as we open up our, our country, uh, and we are in phase two, and I hear we've jumped the gun and we weren't ready for, for phase two, and we sure aren't ready for phase three. But here's what I would like to say. To all my business professionals, business owners, um, whoever uh, are in these prominent positions, two things. One, if you have to employ someone to help you determine how to open up your company that is not in the medical field, you are wasting money employing people to run your company on a day-to-day -day basis. You hired executives and professionals to do a job, to have an expertise, to be able to deal with disruptive management, disruptive uh, economics with chaos let's just call it what it is chaos you know when you employed these people you had great confidence in their skills their strategies their their forward thinking my question is if you're opening your company or struggling to get your company open and you just can't seem to find the right way. I think it's time to, to look at your team, to analyze your team, to analyze their knowledge and their ex expertise. I'm not saying to fire anybody. I'm not saying anything to be negative. I am saying not only has this pandemic been an eye-opener for all of us, but it's an eye-opener for those that are running companies, major Fortune 500s, Fortune 10, Fortune 5, you know, Fortune 100. Um, this is something to think about. Here, I've noticed that a lot of the casinos are struggling. There's really no follow-through on the practices, the policies. For example, they, they've opened up uh, the entertainment industry. They've opened up the culinary industry. And there are more cases now of employees getting sick, employees testing positive, exposure, vulnerability to these, these companies. And one of the things that we need to rethink and restructure is how to correct this. Because it's not cool at the end of the day when <clears throat> there's emails going out, there's team meetings saying, hey, we lost another team member to COVID-19. Hey, a team member has been exposed because of X, Y, Z. Now you all have to get tested. <clears throat> How about be the precaution, take the precaution and, and do the right thing the first time. Isn't that what project management teaches you? Isn't that what Six Sigma teaches you? Um... They teach you to minimize, minim, <laughs> minimize error. 
And I know we don't live in a perfect society. We don't operate our companies with perfect strategies. <clears throat> but this is a time for true leaders to rise up, stand up in the midst of chaos and be a game changer. You're not going to be liked. You're not going to be highly favored. But you will be respected by your outcome, by the production of which you stand for and behind. So that's all I wanted to say to our business leaders, to our leaders out there. You know, it breaks my heart. I keep seeing these emails, someone sick, someone hospitalized, someone losing a family member, a colleague, a friend this is not all necessary again we don't live in a perfect society but we're smart enough to know hey it's raining I need to put it take an umbrella with me just don't walk out there in that rain uncovered and expect not to get wet <clears throat> so I challenge you leaders to do the right thing to think outside of the box, to listen to your, your team, your front line. They know they're involved in it all the time. So that is my challenge for you today. Thank you for tuning in. It's been a pleasure. I'm glad to see everyone. I hope everyone is well. And until then, cheers. I'll talk to you soon.